Welcome back, sports fans. After an unplanned hiatus that required vehicle repairs, the weekly highlight reel returns. And what perfect timing for our 2023 homecoming games. Starting with the Cedartown Bulldogs hosting the Heritage Generals for a showdown at the dock amid the fanfare. I'm Kevin, the editor. Let's get right into the action. Before I get too far into things, thanks to WGA for sharing a few highlights from the second half. I'll get into that in a minute. But for now, the Generals won the toss and won the ball, so the home team got to work on the defensive side of the ball. On the opening kickoff, look out Heritage because Sam Smith came to play on homecoming night. Big tackle right off the bat to keep the Generals pinned down on the opening drive. Got nowhere fast and punted it back to Cedartown. Cedartown started with their opening drive and pushed down the field fast. And the result was Drew Ledbetter to Demarcus Gardner for a throw for A. That's a Cedartown Bulldogs touchdown. Y'all keep watching to see what Drew and Demarcus have in store for us in this first half alone. Defense continues to stand tough against the Heritage passing attack. Aston Turner interrupts a big pass on the next possession. The receiver got a first down on the next big pass play. And a few plays later, the Bulldogs gave one up to the Generals to tie the game 7-all. Don't worry, the Generals are about to get shell-shocked. Bulldogs respond this time with Cedartown in striking distance. The handoff goes to Jaquavian Price. He has no trouble pushing past the Generals defense for a touchdown number two in the first half. Bulldogs are now up 13-7. Bulldogs kicking duties on the night were handled for the most part by sophomore Braden Broster after he came in to work for Edgar Bermudez who is out on injury. Solid job by Broster as he puts it through the uprights for the extra point. Heritage gets some good ground to attack from on the ensuing kickoff return and Sam Smith almost came with a pick on this play. Unfortunately, he got called for a pass interference, but Heritage AD holding call to offset the call. It was Taham's turn to cause some havoc downfield. Total Taham. He knocked away this touchdown pass attempt on the same drive. Heritage makes the pass play on the next down to grab a first, but Tay Harris comes in for the second effort to make a stop and get some unexpected help in the process. Generals try one more time for a chance at the end zone on the pass, but they again are throwing into a lot of coverage and nothing doing on the attempt. So it's fourth down and it looks like the field goal attempt, not so much. Apparently Cedartown was absolutely ready for this trick play and stopped this one cold in its tracks. Cedartown ball, but they get good field position off of a penalty on the busted trick play and Michael Gibbons Jr. gets the handoff and he is going all the way for six. How about them dogs? Things are about to get ugly for Heritage. General driving and the pass goes up for Demarcus Gardner right there for the pickoff. He brings it in on the Cedartown sideline. First turnover of the game. WGA caught the first half of this TD pass, and I got the middle of it somewhere for some reason. But here we go. Drew and Demarcus connecting again for their second touchdown pass of the night. Let's count that out, shall we, Mr. Gardner? And for the sake of making life easier, we might as well fast forward to touchdown pass number three. That's right, sports fans. Demarcus Gardner grabbed a big one and goes all the way to put the Bulldogs up 35-7, just about at the right time to go into the locker room. As halftime approached, the Bulldogs defense almost got another pickoff and a stop to finish off the clock and go into the locker room up 35-7. The Dogs celebrated this year's homecoming queen Gabby Mosley, who was crowned as the presentation wrapped up at halftime. Since I had a very busy weekend ahead, see polktoday.com for the rest of the week if you don't believe me, and didn't think much about the rest of this one, I took off for greener pastures and to get ready for the next day's events. Fortunately, WGA was kind enough to share some second half half highlights for this one and Michael Gibbons Jr. pushed in for the touchdown with the help of the offensive line to keep the dogs up. Cedartown also put up a pair of field goals as well in the second half and stayed ahead of the Heritage Generals as they came out and put up four touchdowns before time expired but the 13 points in the second half were more than enough for the Bulldogs to enjoy a 47-35 homecoming win. Demarcus Gardner with a three touchdown and interception performance for the Bulldogs really capped this one off and Michael Gibbons Jr. added another two touchdowns on the ground in a roundabout big night for the dogs despite the second half scoring by the generals. 
Petertown moves to four and three on the year, one and one in region play, and sits at third in the standings behind Northwest Whitfield and Central Carroll. Both tied right now at two and zero in region play. Bulldogs have off this coming Friday, and I'll be back on the sidelines with Rock Mart for the first time in several weeks this week. And next week's football highlight reels are free through the rest of the regular season for everyone to enjoy on the site as well. But please consider going to grab a subscription and help support the travel cost to games. I just finished a very expensive repair on the Jeep, and I'd like to keep it running. Shout out to Adam Zucker for getting the work turned around very fast, considering what I had to have done. Check into polktoday.com for additional homecoming coverage, including the full video from the halftime presentation and from the homecoming parade, plus galleries and more for subscribers. Polk Sportswire will also be posting up the first half of the season's raw hits for subscribers coming up next week as well. Stay tuned. I'm Kevin, the editor. Make sure to check out the scoreboard show on Wednesday. Thanks for watching this latest edition of the Football Highlights. We'll see you from the sidelines in the next one.